been working on gravitational wave uh, science for 25 years, my entire sort of academic career. The two black holes that we saw colliding a billion light years away were the very first observations of gravitational waves directly. Gravitational wave coming from a billion light years away, its effect here on the Earth is that it changes distances between objects ever so slightly. And Einstein initially dismissed gravitational waves as having no practical purpose, because they're so faint, who could ever detect them? Now, you can detect them. The very first time I built an instrument, and I looked at the light coming out of that instrument and calibrated it. My mirrors were moving by 10 to the minus 17 meters. I was awestruck. I have just measured motion of a mirror that's 100 times smaller than a proton. I was just like, wow. And the thing to savor about the discovery of, of gravitational waves and the collision of black holes is the number of new ways of looking at the universe we've suddenly, we've suddenly experienced. First is the idea that we use gravity instead of light. That's the first nice new thing. The second thing was we've never seen this process of black holes dancing about each other and then crashing into each other and giving off actually an incredible amount of energy for a short period of time. I cannot think of any major discovery at any point in time that hasn't helped enhance our lives. And that's part of what I really love about, um, you know, being a scientist at this moment in time in this country. This is a place that has invested in, in science for a long time. It's eroding. And that's part of what we have to do now is also to, to stop that erosion because you think of the 20th century as the century of important scientific discoveries. It's was done because of investment, and I hope we can keep it going through the 21st century.